Time to show you some of this morning's headlines. The New York Daily News reports second-term New York Congressman Michael Grimm is bracing for a one-two punch. The Republican is expected to be indicted on corruption charges next week in connection with campaign financing. His ex-girlfriend was indicted Friday on campaign finance irregularities. The Washington Post says just a handful of Americans have submitted the paperwork to opt out of the Affordable Care Act. About 77,000 of the 8 million people who enrolled have requested a pardon under the individual mandate. This prevents them from having to pay a fine for not being insured. Internal documents say no one so far has been rejected. Most have been approved. The rest are on hold or being vetted. The Wall Street Journal says cotton is no longer the leading ingredient in American clothing. High prices are forcing manufacturers to weave in synthetic fibers into their products. Retailers say consumers don't notice the difference. The Arizona Star says Olympic swimmer Michael Phelps was eliminated from his comeback meet Friday when he failed to advance in the 50-meter freestyle. The 18-time gold medalist, fresh out of retirement, wound up finishing 42nd overall. Only the top 32 qualifiers go on to the consolation finals. And the New York Post says Family Guy is taking a cue from New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. A flyer sent to Emmy voters suggests they consider the TV show for best animated short or be prepared for, quote, traffic problems in Brentwood. The Christie administration <laughs> is accused of using similar language to cause a traffic jam on a bridge linking New York and New Jersey. There's no real safe comment, but I will say there was something similar about the way they looked in those images. <laughs>